Hey y'all, my name is Rachel Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you high-end dupes because I will not buy anything full price. I don't buy anything designer. Well, number one, I can't afford it. So that's probably the bigger concept of why I will not. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the only reason because I can't afford it. But it's just all ridiculous. Anyway, I will show you everything from fashion dupes to beauty dupes, just dupes. Dupes. Show you all the things to help you all out because I know personally struggling. So we're gonna go head upstairs and show you the dupes because the spare bedroom has the best lighting in the house. The bedroom has like none. The kitchen, like none. It's a like yellowish, like light, warm light, I guess. And I just don't like warm light. So I'm just gonna go into the spare bedroom and I'll show you all the things, what I have in store. So uh, let's go. Go. So I'm not sure if you like peeped my uh, thing hanging up here. It's right next to the laundry room So anything that I have to hang I literally hang it on the door I know I probably shouldn't do that but like literally will hang like underwear bras like everything right there Anyway, okay, first I need to figure out where to put my camera I was going to go outside and get like the lights like the camera action the whole thing get the little stand But it's raining and it's I'm by myself and I don't want to go out there in the dark by myself It's in like a little shed and I just I'm not going out there by myself. Yes, I'm scared of the dark I don't care. I'll admit it. Scare the dark. It's raining and it's windy. I don't like the wind either. The wind just freaks me out because I'm afraid there's gonna be a tornado. Ever since that tornado came like dead straight like at the house and like made a quick left run. Either, either way, like turned real quick. I don't do wind anymore. First, I'm gonna start with the Gucci belt. The Gucci belt literally runs from anywhere from like 350 to like 450 to like all over the place. And Amazon doesn't sell the exact Gucci dupes anymore, like the one with the actual G. So they have like the circle ones instead but I absolutely love the circle ones. I think that they are super cute, super flattering. I just love it. I think it look way more put together, but just the flashy belt, like they're just two circles. I think that they are so cute. I got two of them together on Amazon for $19.99. For $19.95, you can rent this. Wearing one right now. Yeah, cheetah belt, super cute. The fabric, like animal. I mean, not actual, it's not actual animal. It's soft is what I meant to say. Not an animal, not an animal. Promise you, not an animal. Next we have some shoes, Dort Weitzman, little booties. I think that his shoes are absolutely to die for. They are super cute. However, the way my bank account is set up, I will not be getting those shoes anytime soon. The shoes run around $323, completely out of my price range. Okay, not affordable. So what I did is I went online and tried to find some dupes. And honestly, my go-to place for the dupes is Just Fab. Just Fab is killing it. I absolutely love it. I signed up for the monthly subscription. No, this is not an ad. Why would it be an ad? Just Fab is the coolest thing. So I get shoes every single month. I got these super cute Just Fab shoes that you can just like dress up, dress down. I think that they are so cute. I feel like I personally would never wear it with like sweatpants. You know how people wear the sweatpants and the heels. But I think these would be the type of shoes that would be super cute for that outfit. Just saying, but I have them here. Cute little thing. They zip up. Love the zipper. Super easy to get on. If you are in between sizes, I would definitely size up like a half size or even a full size. I'm a six and a half and I got these in a seven and they are a little snug. I definitely wouldn't be wearing thick socks with them. They would 110% be thin socks, but that is my only complaint. I found another Stort Weitzman over the knee boot that is super, super cute. They are, I just, I think that they are so cute. However, I found these on Just Fab for $35.99. I absolutely love them. They are so comfortable, easy to get on, easy to get off. Let me show them to you. I think you're better without me. Uh. They are so cute. They like they tie They're in the back and there's like not really a heel So I actually like that because sometimes I just can't wear heels I try my very best to wear them But sometimes my feet just hurt but they go all the way up and they actually form to my leg Which I really like because a lot of times I find shoes and they don't fit around my calf Like they're just too big and but these weren't baggy on me, which is great Actually when I first got them they were kind of snug to put on and I was oh dear these will not work But they actually do when I got those in the seven as well because like always size up half a size in all boots for me that just seems to work out because I like to normally wear thicker socks next I have a free people sweater dress it has a turtleneck super cute I think it would be super comfortable however it was $148 but I found a sweater dress that is similar to it on Amazon for literally $29.99 
Oh my goodness, I was so excited when it came to the mail. Here it is in the flesh. It's super cute. It is literally the softest material ever. It is so, so, so soft. And the best part about it, this thing has pockets. I don't know about you, but when a dress has pockets, I go absolutely nuts. It is super, 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 super thick. It's like super, super comfortable, like thick. It's not that itchy material at all. It is so cute. However, if you're like me and have super broad shoulders, this will probably make you look like a complete box like myself. So what I did, I just threw on a cute little belt to help. I put on this little Gucci belt and it just, you can use any belt. Maybe I'm sorry. But I kind of super super broad shoulders and I have a small waist It's sometimes it's very hard to tell that I have a small waist because I feel like clothes nowadays either are skin tight or super baggy homeless look like there's no in between I have yet to find an in between outfit I just I don't know it's how clothes are made nowadays you either get to look homeless and like fabulous or you look like you're going out for the night so I don't know I don't know if I'm the only one who does that way or not but so next on the list is this David Yurman bracelet dupe. The David Yurman one is clearly real gold. What I have is not, which is totally fine with me because I lose everything anyway, like literally everything. I don't know, I just can't keep a track of sunglasses, chapstick, jewelry, earrings, earrings again. Like I'm just always restocking on earrings, chapstick, jewelry, like literally all the things, socks. No clue where those go. So anyway, I'm losing everything all the time. So really, there's no reason for me to buy anything expensive because I would be a nervous wreck trying to like, when did I take it off? Did I actually take it off when I was sleeping? Because I do that often. Did I take a nap and it felt weird to have to cut off? Like, I don't know. I just, and bobby pin. Oh my God, it feels so bad. My boyfriend steps on them all the time. He's like, oh my gosh, bobby pin. I'm like, oh, sorry. I don't know, they just fall out of my hair. Don't know. Anyway, I got this little bracelet here. I got it for $16 on Amazon. I think it's the cutest thing. I absolutely love when like metals mix. I love mixing gold and silver, rose gold, all the things. I really don't know what other else color there would be out there, but I like to mix them. I mix my earrings, my necklace. Like I'm always mixing colors. So I think it's a super, super good dupe. I have had this for probably I would say two months now I've washed my hands with it and that's pretty much the only thing I've done I haven't taken it in the shower because it's a big bracelet I don't know why you would wear it into the shower I haven't worn it swimming it's been a little chilly here I think it's doing great it doesn't look bad anywhere it's not tarnishing anywhere and I have super super duper duper sensitive skin so if this was something that was gonna like hurt my skin turn it green it would have already done it by now because I just can't keep on fake fake jewelry it just doesn't work for me but I think it's a good piece to go with literally everything absolutely love it so I think my favorite thing that I have bought have literally been the Celine sunglass dupes because I'm a sunglasses girl. I normally keep just like aviators. Those are normally my things. I go to, I don't normally do anything crazy with my sunglasses, but lately I've been stepping way out of my comfort zone and I think these things are the cutest thing ever. They're so big. They are huge. It's my whole face. Like... <laughs> So cute. I have gotten so many compliments when I wear these sunglasses. Like, so many. Love it. I walk into Wawa to get my coffee and people are like, I like your sunglasses. And I say, thank you, Amazon. Seriously. Absolutely love them. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Literally eight dollars on Amazon. You cannot beat that. You really can't. Can't beat it. Seriously. You can't even get eight dollar sunglasses at Walmart. Okay, maybe you can. But not ones that look this great and feel great. And you're going to get 20,000 compliments on them because they look amazing. Or because people will just want to talk to you and are like, Ugh. Literally, I showed them to my little brother. I put them on my face. He started laughing at me. He thought it was a joke. He's like, ah, oh my gosh. And I was like, eh, no, they're real. Anyway, $8 versus the $400 it would cost you to buy real Celine sunglasses. Don't know about you, but that would make me a nervous wreck because I would be afraid I would lose them. Next on the list are my shoes that I got from Just Fab. I absolutely love snakeskin. Snakeskin. Mm -hmm. 
snake skin should be in style 24 7 because I absolutely love them. I think these are the cutest shoes. I got them on sale on Just Fab for $15.99 and I saw a pair that looked just like these that were Steve Madden which I absolutely love Steve Madden and I probably would have bought them but I already had these so shout out to wherever I saw those Steve Madden shoes they're probably at Marshalls because that's where I live at. I wore them today and like there's nothing really to them there's nothing like serious about them they're just those comfy shoes you just throw on. I was working out of school today they were perfect and I got many compliments on these as well. I don't know but I love getting compliments on things that I got super cheap because people's faces when you tell them how much you got them for is priceless in my opinion. So next is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite thing I have ever bought from Amazon. And that would be a Louis Vuitton knockoff. Complete knockoff. I'm not even call it a dupe. It's a knockoff. Actually, dupe and knockoff are probably the same thing. So a Louis Vuitton bags, anybody knows that they are so expensive. But they are so cute. And everybody just wants a Louis Vuitton in their closet, on their arm, on their, everywhere. Everyone just wants a Louis Vuitton. Okay, I do. Plain and simple. I just wish I could, but I can't. Amazon will do for now. So the Louis Vuitton packs run like over a thousand dollars, like everything. I literally actually tried to find this bag on Amazon, on like Craigslist, on eBay, everything, trying to buy it used. And it was still around a thousand dollars. So I gave up, went to Amazon and just wrote Louis Vuitton knockoff. And this is what I got. This absolutely cute bag. I absolutely love it to death. It is just, oh my goodness. I have used it every single day since I got it. Have not given it a break. I just think it's like the coolest thing ever. And it's super roomy, has like some pockets in there. <laughs> Two pockets and then there's a zipper. I already have stuff in here because I literally use this every day now. And it's super easy to clean. It's that like material, just like wipe it out. It's super, super easy to clean. I have li literally been looking for a bag like this for so, 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 so long because I just, I like bigger bags because of my job. I have to carry around a laptop and papers and stuff like that. So I just wanted something big enough where I can just throw that stuff in and my makeup and I'm always on the go. So I always need a bag that literally has like snacks, makeup, lotion, perfume, all the girly thing for my daily life, my calendar, everything. And it fits literally everything in here so perfectly. I'm gonna get a divider soon to go in here. So I just think that this is the perfect, perfect, perfect Louis Vuitton dupe. And since it's only 40, what I say 40 something dollars 41 dollars like I have no problem if this gets messed up like I'll go buy another one but rather if I had a Louis Vuitton one I would be freaking out that I would mess it up somehow or I literally wouldn't take it anywhere I would literally sit in my closet so I would definitely get my use out of this bag 110% but the best part about this bundle I mean is the bundle it came with so much stuff like this makeup bag is literally so big and roomy like I feel like this doesn't do it justice it's literally the size of my head you can put so much stuff in it it's unreal. I've already used this. I went on vacation this weekend and put all my stuff in there. And then it came with this little thing. I feel like it literally could fit your passport in there. And if it didn't fit your passport, you can literally just shut it and you can just put like your credit cards information in there and stuff. Like I feel like this is where all the important information would be at. And then it came with this little zipper chain change holder. And there's even a, there's even a little chain for your chain. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Next came with a wallet. So now let's move on to the beauty side. I didn't pick too many items for this because that's kind of going to be a whole other video if I didn't want to spoil all this stuff. One of the leading makeup companies is MAC. I love MAC. I've bought their stuff many times before. The MAC foundation, the matte one, the studio finish, full coverage is being compared to Maybelline. This is the matte and poreless Maybelline. I've actually tried both. I've tried the MAC and I've tried this and they both do the exact same thing to my skin. This lasts the same amount of time. It's like the same consistency in everything. It, it pretty much, I feel like it's the same exact foundation in here, just different bottles. And this is way cheaper. The MAC is, I think it's around $35 to $45, depending on where you buy it from. And this is like $12 from like Walgreens or something. Super, super cheap. And I even did the, their powder. And I absolutely love the powder. As you can tell, it is all gone. I use this powder every single day on top of my regular foundation. It's absolutely amazing. And then I also had the MAC powder as well and I dropped it and it broke everywhere so lost my money there but I feel like they both did pretty much the same thing so I think that they are great 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 dupes like this is the best dupe for foundation and powder compared to MAC.
Next is still comparing to MAC. Not trying to hate on them or anything, but their stuff is really expensive. So I have used MAC lipstick like forever and ever. Every single Christmas, like that is where I would go to to get my lipstick. I just absolutely used to think that I needed to have top-end makeup, product, all the things, but really I didn't because I am so happy that I found this brand, NYX. I'm honestly not even sure that's how you say it. I don't know if it's like Nick, like NYX. I always call it NYX because they're capitalized. But anyway, because the MAC lipstick, they run from like 18 to like $20 for a tube. This lipstick, the NYX lipstick, literally only costs around like $5 to $6 depending where you get it from. I don't know why I did that. So I think you could literally buy so many more of these for the price of buying one of the MAC lipsticks. And the lip liners too, like I absolutely love the lip liners. They have the ones where you can sharpen, which are clearly cheaper than the ones that like you push up. But I I've had these for so long and I just, I absolutely love them they go on so smooth they don't smudge or anything and I actually a lot of times I will use this to do my entire lip and put on lip gloss or something because I don't like my lips to feel chapped or anything you can use these up to 24 months that's a long time to have a lip pencil their lipsticks are absolutely amazing this one is like a little brown color but I have one right now I actually put one of these lip liners on first that's like a more pinkish color and they fall to my lip and then I put this on because this is a little dark for this video but but I absolutely love them. I have probably 20 of these downstairs in my makeup drawer. 20 of these. I think that they last all day, especially this matte one, matte lipstick. And then sometimes, because I don't like when my lips look matte, I actually like when they're shiny. I either have one like lip gloss still from NYX or Maybelline. I buy their lipsticks as well. But compared to MAC, you definitely get more bang for your buck when it comes to this. Like it has lasted me so long. I actually bought this one probably like eight months ago and I use it literally all the time and it's still holding up great. And then same with these. Had these for a long time as well and they're still doing great. The next product we're gonna talk about is a fake tanner. So, so, so many bloggers I see using the fake tanner, the Saint Tropez and stuff. I'm not even sure that's how you pronounce it. I really, I don't know how to pronounce anything. I literally looked up how to pronounce some of these people's names before this video. And in case you didn't know, there's a whole YouTube like section of how to pronounce people's names. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Anyway, I have tried the Saint Tropez. I personally do not like how it smells. I think it smells very awful. I mean, it'll give me a pretty tan. Sometimes it's still kind of makes my skin a little too orange because I have super, 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 super pale skin. But Saint Tropez runs about $45 to $50 depending where you get it from. So my entire life, I have been dealing with fake tanners. I used fake tanners all through high school. I went through the awkward phase of trying out like any way possible to get tan. Like it was awful. I would look orange some days. I would look splotchy. I'm not gonna lie. I still have days where I look super splotchy and I just have to laugh at myself. But I've got a lot, lot better at perfecting my fake tan. I have Irish skin. I am so pale. I have so many freckles. When I do not have on makeup or a fake tanner, I get asked if I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. I just have really pale skin. Anyway, so St. Moraz is my absolute favorite. So since this has been the only fake tanner that works for me, I will absolutely swear by it. I think it is 110% better than the St. Tropez. And they sit right next to each other at Ulta normally every time I go in there. And this one is way better than it. It smells 20 times better. It just feels better. It's super like light going on and it just feels absolutely amazing. And your skin will be glowing. It immediately turns your skin so you can kind of see where you've missed and what you need to work on and stuff. I do recommend putting on lotion before you start, like at least on your hands because that always seems to be the part of my body that looks super bad. So I definitely recommend this 100 times better than the St. Tropez. Just saying. So I really hope that you enjoyed all of my high-end dupes, some of my favorite tricks on just how I pretty much maneuver my way around the fashion and beauty sense of the world. I really hope that this video has helped you guys out. So if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more about my life what I do, my beauty tips, my fashion tips, how I just like manage myself in this world, let me know in the comments. And if this video was definitely one for you, please hit that like button and to help my channel out, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. Hopefully something in there is good.